Qantas is reaping the re rewards of some hard decisions in recent times, with the airline returning to profit. Shares in the company are trading at a four-year high. While analysts are praising the result, unions say the workforce has been forced to pay for it. Things are looking up for one of Australia's most scrutinised CEOs, with Alan Joyce delivering on a promise to make Qantas profitable. Our best half-year performance in four years. The company has turned a $252 million half-year underlying loss into a $367 million profit. Without the impact of transformation, Qantas would not be profitable today. That controversial transformation included a cost reduction program led by massive job losses, almost 4,000 so far, another 1,000 to go. Jobs, the unions say, have been replaced by casuals. A part-time workforce is a part-time interest in the business. I mean, that's been a very, very tough part of getting Qantas from being a 90-year-old grandma into something that actually looks like a a modern airline. The end of a capacity war with rival Virgin Australia helped to grow its domestic business. Its international division recovered from a $262 million half-year loss. Its loyalty unit continued to be a standout, while the removal of the carbon tax added $59 million to its bottom line, lower fuel prices $33 million. It's a little bit like uh, the captain must feel when he comes through a very, very bumpy set of clouds and into blue sky. For the captain, Alan Joyce, the result drew praise from some analysts. Successful though in terms of, of taking something tough and making something good of it, yeah, you'd have to be right up there. Also up there is the company's share price, which has risen from a 12-month low of $1.03 in March last year to $2.85 today, an increase of almost 180%. With uh, fuel prices yet to really take effect and the full year of uh, cost cutting, there's promises of significantly more to go, so um, we could see more upside. Analysts say a successful play into Asia would aid growth, but for now it seems the turbulent times for Qantas and management may be behind them. Ricardo Gonsalves, SBS World News.